finally, uh, if we do our jobs well, access to digital infrastructure and the types of innovations that will make it easier for individuals to participate in the 21st century are about to get a lot easier. Last month, we were fortunate to bring together an incredible group that included the Prime Minister of Norway, the president of the Gates Foundation, the Rockefeller Foundation, the Omidyar Network, uh, the United Nations, and many of the world's top technologists. And we launched a decade of work, a digital decade, to build open source digital systems that will provide some of the core infrastructure people need to power their lives. We know what this blueprint looks like. It involves digital identity and data layers and digital payments. And then the systems that will plug in uh, to those foundation layers to enable our institutions to operate the way they should uh, in the 21st century. My team at New America is building a lot of these systems in partnership with amazing organizations around the world, covering everything from taxation to social benefits, uh, to data wallets, to land titling. But a lot of this work is happening elsewhere. Uh, in India, you have the MOSIP team that I've been honored to advise, which is creating a modular open source identity platform, kind of the next generation of the Aadhaar system uh, that will make it easier for people in countries around the world uh, to benefit from a digital identity. We're also seeing Moja Loop do the same thing with payments. Uh, so this system of open source digital infrastructure is really starting to take shape before our eyes. Too much of the world has institutions that were designed in the 19th century and are using technology from the 20th century to try and solve the challenges of the 21st century. It's increasingly clear that that's not working. And with this new generation of digital infrastructure, we can revitalize our societies and maybe even save some of the democratic institutions that are really struggling in the face of the challenges uh, that we are encountering uh, in this very tumultuous time.